the photo, we see Edith standing next to her father, Abraham Hollanda, with Edith's mother, Rosa Hollanda Stern, in front of him. Otto's mother, Alice Frank Stern, is sitting in front of Otto. Jewish. The ill treatment of the Jews was all the more saddening because many had fled here from Germany. Amongst them was a businessman called Otto Frank. He brought with him his wife and two teenage daughters, Margot and Anne, and got a job in a small factory on one of the quieter canals. For a while, he thought his family was safe. But when war began and the Germans overran Holland, he knew it was only time before they would all be taken away to the concentration camps. Their only chance was to hide, and Mr. Frank knew of an excellent hiding place. He told his wife and the girls to pack a few things. It wasn't safe to be seen in the streets with a suitcase, so they all wore as many clothes as possible. Anne packed her books and her curlers into her school satchel to avoid suspicion. Then they made their way here to Mr. Frank's office, where he told them to climb the steep staircase to the top floor. Margot and Anne had no idea where they were going or why. Mr. Frank had thought it unfair that they should be asked to keep such a dangerous secret from their friends at school. Except for one thing. Neat had kept for him something the Gestapo had thrown away as rubbish when they ran back the secret annex. I knew that Anna wrote the diary. Spoke about the diary. Left her diary with me night in a briefcase next to my bed. I had promised her never to look in. I never did. When I returned and after I had the news that my children would not come back, Neep gave me the diary, which had been saved by, I should say, a girl. It took me a very long time to read it. I must say, I was very much surprised about deep thoughts on the head. Her seriousness, especially her self-criticism. It was quite a different honor I had known at 